Hello, this is Alec Kerr, the film critic from the Conway Daily Sun, and today I want to talk to you about my top six favorite albums. Why six? Because I couldn't think of just five and I didn't want to go up to ten, so I'm doing just six. And why not? It's my video. I'll do what I want. So, first album. This is an album that my dad found just digging around in a cabinet and he gave to me because he wasn't a particular fan of it anymore. And uh, so I popped it in, and it was on cassette no less, so I popped it into my car and I listened to it on repeat and I learned to love it. And so, here it is. Oh No, It's Devo by Devo. And Devo's kind of thought of as a novelty one-hit wonder, but there's so much more than that. And the song I want to play for you is Speed Racer, which is their complete reworking of the Speed Racer theme, and it is spectacular. I'm Speed Racer and I drive real fast. He's Speed Racer and he drives real fast. He's Speed Racer and he drives real fast. I drive real fast. Next up is Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers soundtrack for She's the One. Now, She's the One was a decent indie film about relationships breaking up and reforming, and the soundtrack is a nice collection of songs, both original and covers, that are uh, love songs and these really, really great anti-love songs, and they sit next to each other really nicely. Um, there was a minor hit from the soundtrack, Walls, but some of the better songs are these, are, are these darker songs, like uh, We Grew Up Alone, which we'll play now. Well, you know I'm someone else where you know what I am So don't treat me like I'm someone else Next is The Best of Blur, which I know is kind of a cheat because it's a compilation album. But the first time I listened to this was in England with a friend of mine. And uh, I only knew Blur from Song 2 at the time. And I just fell in love with Blur because they just are such an eclectic band. They'll do something heavy metal, they'll do something dance pop, they'll do something Brit pop, they'll do something art pop, and it's just fantastic stuff. And in addition to that, on the album cover, there's a drawing of one of the band members, Ram Coxon, looks a lot like me. So that always is a nice connection to have. Anyway, here's Park Life. I get up when I want, except on Wednesdays, when I get rudely awakened by the dustman. I put my trousers on, have a cup of tea, and I think about leaving the house. I feed the pigeons, I sometimes feed the sparrows too. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. Next up is The Clash's Combat Rock. And now, I bought this album because I was a fan of Rock the Casbah and Should I Stay or Should I Go. And since then, I've bought other Clash albums, but this is still my favorite because it was my introduction to The Clash, and even though this is their most commercial album, their most successful album uh, in terms of sales, I, I still love this album because it does have that same genre blending that they have in all their other music, and you have songs like Sean Flynn where people will listen to it and be like, wait, that's The Clash? Next up is the first album I ever bought at age 12 uh, on cassette. There's a theme here, as you can see. And uh, it's What's the Story of Morning Glory by Oasis. And this still remains one of my favorite albums, coming in at number two. And I just love Oasis. I even love their mediocre albums. And uh, as much as I love Wonderwall, I'm going to go with She's Electric as my track from the album. And here you go. She's electric. She's in a family full of eccentrics She's done things I've never expected And I need more time For my number one, I gotta go with a Beatles album. Now, I know a lot of people debate what the best Beatles album is, but I'm gonna go with Abbey Road. I think I've always been really fond of that medley at the end of all the songs and how they seg together. And this is the Beatles at the at their end, but they're still at the pinnacle of their talent, still experimenting. 
And even though this album is full of great songs like Come Together, Here Comes the Sun, Because Something, I'm going to go with Maxwell's Silver Hammer as my song to play from the album. I've always been kind of fond of this song uh, because of its bizarre juxtaposition of this really upbeat, happy music with these really sinister lyrics. And so, here you go. Dang, dang, Maxwell Silver So there you have it, my top six favorite albums, and this is Alec, and keep watching.